Are we on air? You're now in the mix with The Corner Radio, hosted by Kill. Banging nothing but classic hip-hop, soul and R&B. What's good, what's good, what's good? You tuned into the corner of radio hosted by your man Kill Man. I got my squad up here. And in fact, with me tonight, I got my man Beezo. What's going on, B? Hey, what up, what up? Peace. Uh, everything good. DJ Rack, what's good, baby? What's good, man? I got kicked off last week. I'm back now, baby. All right, JP, what's good, baby? What up, man? All right, and we got my man Sight. What's good, Sight? Chilling, man. What's up with y'all? Oh, man, everything is good, man. Y'all already know. Let's dig right into it. I always got to give props with props to do. I was over on OK Play the other day, and my man Anonymous had a dope post up. It basically was like, yo, you got to make a Best of DJ Premiere album. But the only two things was you can only use one artist per time. So you can't have five gang stars and three J Rules and two Nazis. You got to just pick one and come up with your list we did the whole jay dilla episode so this time we're gonna be showing a lot of love to, to primo um and then at the end of the show we're gonna be chopping up about where he falls in on our list so b why don't you get it started why don't you give me three of the 12 joints that you pick and why man this, this was not easy I, i'm not gonna lie man it's like it was virtually impossible I know the task was to get one from each artist, but that's really impossible, man. I tried as best I could, but from three different artists, I'll give you three of my personal favorites. Uh, Friend of Foe by Jay-Z, okay. Ten Crack Commandments, and Come Clean. Now, that was it was hard just to come up with those three, except for Come Clean. Come Clean, to me, is one of, that's probably my second favorite hip-hop song ever after they reminisce. Wow. So I mean, like the drums and shit. That that shit. The whole sample, the the video. I mean, I know it's about the beat, but just the whole package. And then Jay Ru, who to me, I think Primo's work with Jay Ru to me might be his best overall at all the people he's ever worked with. You know what I mean? Hmm. I think yeah. I think um, I think Group Home's album might be his best work on the album. But as an artist, to me, Jay Ru between his first two albums, that was some of Primo's best work to me. Um, in terms of friend of foe, it's just that sample, man, with the horns, man. It's just, I mean, it's just a loop with just everything about that joint, man. That was like he hit the ball out the park for Jay Z at that time. Jay being the hustler, you know, him like you know, pursuing that persona, whatever. The track, just the mood of the sample, it sounds like some old pimp hustler hood type shit, you know, the sample itself. That's why I had to go friend of foe, and then 10 Crack Commandments. Same thing. I mean, yo, he's cutting throughout the whole song. The sample is Primo cutting, man. And then the the the, the, the Chuck D sample. I know Chuck. I heard wasn't too happy with that. You know, being mm-hmm. affiliated with the crack and all that. But in terms of hip hop, yo, that was just it was it was just dead on, man. All three of them joints. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, I heard this joint with Primo. Primo said he ran up on Chuck one day, yeah. like Chuck was with his kids in Long Island, <laughs> like. Primo ran up on him like yo why you sue like because he said he sued biggie's estate and primo said he just paid out of pocket yeah because he didn't want no money to have to come out of big's estate for that so you know primo wow. paid out of pocket for that you know but he said he ran up on chuck one day with his kid <laughs> chuck was with his kids and he was like yo man why you do that but I, it's funny because the second i heard it said crack command was i was like this is dope but damn <laughs> you use yeah it. Yeah, using Chuck. I mean, especially where that joint comes right, from. You know right, what I mean? Right, the original right. right, like yeah, the total down, opposite um, of the yeah. message that Chuck was originally <laughs> trying to convey. Like I said, in terms of hip hop, I mean, hip hop won that day. You know what I'm saying? Chuck lost. Man. <laughs> you know? yeah, I mean, too, that was supposed to be. I think they said that was like a countdown for Angie Martinez originally. It so, was. So I, when Preem made it, it wasn't to you know for that but yeah. often them hurt and they went like that so that's what it is all right bet Rick, who you got for your top three man yeah, that's a good one bezo i like that one um all right so my three i got queen latifah wrath of my madness the remix okay. uh unbelievable is my biggie joint i know that thing like the back of my hand kick snare hi-hat everything um 
And my my uh, third is a million and one questions. Rhyme no more. The Jay Z joint off uh, in my lifetime. Um, the Jay Z joint. It's not many highlights off that album. But yo, when that motherfucking shit dropped, and all he said was yo, motherfuckers can't rhyme no more. The whole the whole for me the whole shift of that album changed just based off that. It's not many. It's not. It's not gonna happen a lot of times where you get two bangers in one song from Primo and you kill both of them. So, you know, that right there says enough. And then Wrath of My Madness, the remix, if you haven't heard it, you might want to go and, and get your hands on it, man. Um, I mean, the original was dope, but when Primo hit her with that remix, I don't even know if she was even in the studio to do that. I don't know if he just went ahead and did a remix for it, but that remix is dope to me, man. It's, it's one of my favorite Primo remixes, man. Right. And, and, just, and just so you know, I have no Gangstar picks on this joint. Man. That's it. That's the real one. I'm 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 a primo head, man. We share the same <laughs> birthday. Me, him, and our large pro. We both we both share the same. We all share the same birthday, so this is gonna be easy for me. <laughs> I got a couple of joints. I got honorable mentions and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, I knew I got old B side section over here. So yes, sir. And JP, what you got for your three? Um, that's funny because like with Rec, I had pick, I had I had to I had to sway between a million and one and the evil. So since he picked, I'm gonna have to go with the evils. Mm. Um, and the evils. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with um, downtown swing of '96. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna go with Devil's Pie. Um, D'Angelo. You, I mean, when I when I first heard Devil's Pie, man, and the the bass in that joint and the I was just like, yo, this this is this is hip hop soul to me. That's hip hop soul to me. The the hard drums and somebody singing over hard drums, a nice little bass line. You know what I'm saying? Um, the Evils is probably one of my favorite Jay Z songs of all time. Period, and that beat was just incredible. I mean, incredible. And the fact that you know when Primo does his beats, he uh, for the most part he cuts in certain records that you know where they come from, and it makes it that much more like yo, this is hip hop for real, for real. So I mean, and Downtown Swing. I mean, God, I mean, I can't say too much about that song, man. Like it's. It's one of my favorite MOP songs. I mean, the, when that, the way to come in like that, 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 and the beat just come in and drop like, I'm like, yo, it's it's probably one of the hardest beats. My, it's probably my top five hardest beats ever. And with MOP on it, crazy. 96, downtown swing of 96. Don't get confused. There's a 98 and there's a 94. It's 96. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel you on that. The funny thing with Devil's Pie, I remember the first time we got the vinyl at the station. Mm -hmm. At first, I didn't like it. Okay. And the reason I didn't like it was because it was so far left from what I was expecting from D'Angelo. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But then, like, once I let it set in, right. you know, you see something new from D'Angelo, I'm like, okay, this is going to be some smooth, laid back type thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. You know what I didn't like? I didn't like the Lady Remix he did. You didn't like the Lady I Remix? I like the Lady Remix. I like the Lady Remix. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. But yeah, eventually, I mean, of course, I love Devil's Pie. And the way he chopped up, I think it's a Teddy Pendergrass bass line. Like, the way he... Then, oh. like, we are just, again, just perfect for mm. us. Somebody buzzing, I'm assuming. Mm. That's a buzz and, you know, that fat perfect for your next three. I don't think he heard you, Kill. Yeah. Yeah, you like breaking up and shit. You got for your you breaking Am I up? Breaking up? Yeah, you I breaking up. Kill. Kill's actually breaking up. Kill. I think both of y'all are. Yeah. Well, uh, let me try to get back. Just gotta get your camera, man. Mm -hmm. Damn, JP got me ready throwing that down. Yeah. I'm swinging that right now. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. No, my back. On the clue tape for the first time. Are you still you still still just the the blue screen? It's still a blue screen. What? Yeah, it's your, it's your camera. This is why. Yeah, this is why you don't deal with phones. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Try to try to log off and log log right back in. Oh man! You, you said try to log back in. Yeah, log off and try and log back in. That may get it right. Amen. All right, all right. So uh, let me see. For my for my top three, I'm gonna go with 
I'm gonna go with just to get a rap off of Gangstar um, mm -hmm. for Gangstar. Mm -hmm. That right there is is my favorite Primo beat. Like that right there, I remember seeing the video and yeah, and it's always yeah. something for me just coming coming off of the you know the the first No More Mr. Nice Guy album. You know, it's always like the sophomore slump. And when I seen just to get a rap, I was like, yo, these these. These niggas here to stay. <laughs> yes, sir. Like, like, these yeah. niggas ain't going nowhere with me. I mean, it was like the perfect soundtrack because at the time I was dating a shorty in North Philly and I had to catch like a bus and two trains to her crib and, you know, stick up kids was out the tax. So, like, in, in the, <laughs> in the 30s, I'm like, see, I'm like humming that bass line like forever. Like, you know what I mean? And the video was dope and. You know, just everything about that song was just perfect to me, man. And then just it was just ill just to hear how Primo and them said like that's based off a true story with Google getting robbed and everything like that. So, you know, that's that's my joint right there with Gangstar. Um, then I got Out of Here by KRS. Um, ah, I forgot about that one. That was almost over there. That was unbelievable. Yeah, for, for me, that was KRS was kind of like dead in the water for me for a couple of years. Like, I really wasn't a big fan of the sex and the... Um, uh, what was it? Sex, sex and, and violence. violence. Sex yeah, and violence. And, violence. And all of that. But then when I heard Out of Here, I was like, God damn. Like the beat, you know. Yeah, you got a lot of hop to it. Again, the primo coming up with the perfect scratch is the whole slick rig boogie down was performing. And I ain't no joke. Like, like just everything about Out of Here was crazy. And then the story that went with it was just, you know, dope. It was like, you know, this is how BDP came to be. The only thing whack about it was the video. Like, them just being in a black room. Like, I really thought this video was going to be, like, iconic. And it just wasn't. That's the only thing that kind of fell flat on me about out of here. And then my third joint, I got New York State of Mind by Nas. Um, mm. That joint, I mean, I just feel like sets off Illmatic perfectly. I forgot what it was. Nas had a little vodka commercial out a minute ago when he was on the train. Yeah. And the joint is playing. Yeah. It knocks mm. just as hard. You know, in 2016, as hard as it did, like, in 93. You know what I mean? And I just think Nas paints such a vivid picture over that track of just New York State of Mind. And then just Alicia Keys using that later. You know, that's just one of them beats that just, you know, just can never get old for me. So, those are my, my first three beats. But what you got up next, man? Well, I got to go with a gangster dream. It's one of my favorites. It's Take It Personal, man. Like, oh, crazy because yeah. some one of y'all said, uh, the first thing I just started hearing that, the, the, the joint, <laughs> that, 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 the way them drums come in, son. <laughs> and the thing I love about Primo, man, and me, me and Shy used to have a theory about Primo. His cutting, first of all, the, the samples he used for hooks, you know what I mean? The way he cuts them and all that shit and like the literally the sample of stick up kids is out the tag, all that type shit. That's primo. But we have a theory that when he if he don't fuck with you but give you a beat, he doesn't <laughs> cut the sample. He doesn't cut the hook. He just plays it. He like he might trigger it on the MP. But if he's fucking with you, he, he cuts it. that shit. Cause there was a time in the 90s there where Preem was still on top, where he was doing remixes for like everybody. Everybody, right, everybody. everybody. And you could tell some of them cats wasn't like, damn, Primo did a joint for that nigga? But <laughs> you hear the sample and you be like, well, he ain't cutting though. He ain't bringing the real Primo, Preem shit. You know? Never even noticed that. Yeah, so it's like, and, and, and I'm telling you, if you, if you check his catalog. Oh, his was catalog like, is fucking retarded. I'm telling you, that shit is true, but he, if he wasn't fucking with you, he didn't, he didn't cut on the hook for you. <laughs> the take first one is one. Um, represent to me is one of the. That's yeah. also my top five dopest hip hop songs. I mean, just everything about it, man. It's just the sample is is real simple again, but mm -hmm. Cream got a way of just making shit work, man. You know what I mean? That shit, the hop that shit got to it. Mm -hmm. You know, it was perfect for Nas, his voice and what he was talking about. It's just everything about that. It's like Primo is a type of dude that it seemed like. He doesn't just make a beat and then send it to you. He's like, he'll sit down and make a beat for Nas. You know what I'm saying? And the beat sounds like it's for Nas and coming in like, yo, yo, Nas, you should spit like talking about this, that, and the third, whatever, whatever. So Primo, it seems like he, he that's what, you know, he's, he's not just a beat maker, he's a producer. He produces a song for the artist. And to me, represent is a perfect example of that. And then one of my other choice is... Yo, the MC by KRS, man. Mm. The way that shit starts off too with the, the strings and all that, it's just mad big. 
It's just that build up and then the beats drop. Oh my God, yo. <laughs> that shit. Same thing, Kill, like you were saying about KRS was like, it was during that time where it's like, unless you was a diehard KRS fan, he wasn't really hitting like that no more. You know what I mean? So like, when he came out with that shit, too, that, that brought me back to KRS. Like, okay, okay. Yeah, he still he still got it. He still got it. This is just his, his beat selection. But again, I think Primo being Primo, he just knows how to find the right sample, the right beat for every artist that he works with. You know what I'm saying? If you really feel you, if you really fuck with you. And I think the MC did that for KRS. So those, those are my next three. Yeah, the thing is, is um, and we take it personal. You know, Cass, that was uh, aimed at the boy YZ out of, yeah. out of Jerz. Yeah. That was YZ. Yeah, yeah well, it was shot when 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 uh, Guru saying rappers are arch, you can't own no loops. Yeah, it was that yeah. joint. Yeah. That was it. Manifest. It was, oh, not, it, was, it was a joint. The title track, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I'm gonna this, this song. What was the song by by Homeboy that that was like he was trying to act like that was. His sound. Well, YZ had it for you in control of things. In control of things. That yeah. was out first. Yeah, and then they yeah, came yeah. out with no more Mr. Nice Guy. And I think why I said something about that. And that's where that whole, you know, rap is an art, you can't own no loops. That's mm -hmm. how you hook them up with your rhyme style troop with that joint. And then um just the fact that the represent that we heard was actually the remix to represent. You mm -hmm. know, not the original joint that I don't like know. the original. Yeah, I mean original was more it's jazz. Cool. At the, yeah, at the base. yeah, you're right. Well, kill you know the story behind that. Allegedly, from uh, as an interview Primo did, like, he was like he had done the shit for Nas, but then he heard um the Pete Rock yeah. shit. Yeah, he heard mm -hmm. Pete. It was yeah. like, wait, hold up. He called Nas like, nah, we gotta we gotta do this shit over. So. <laughs> <laughs> he <represented>, like <laughs> Pete puts him to another, and that's dope. Yeah, so that's shit. what that is dope. Got multiple yeah. producers. That's what should happen. Niggas should be pushing each other to greatness. You know what I mean? So. And right. for Primo to admit that publicly is dope too. It's like, yo, right. yo some pushed me. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen, but Primo and um, Pete were on the drink champs with Noah. I haven't seen it yet. Well, I haven't watched the whole thing, but yeah, I haven't seen crazy. it. Is is it dope? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah all them drinks is dope. I mean, it's, is funny. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I fuck with drink champs. I just haven't had a chance to watch it in like a month. Yeah. All of, I haven't seen one yet that was whack. Norwich just is too funny, man. Yeah, yeah. He's too stupid. And, and, and then you get niggas drunk and high too. So yeah, you, know? I mean, you can't do that. Ain't gonna talk about any well. Now I will say this: I'm always, and I see Beezo, you're with that. Now, how do Breck and JP? How do y'all feel about? Because I always feel like. One day I was doing this posse cut way back in the day, and like I could never get the, the joint finished because niggas would hear somebody verse and then be like, "Oh, nah, I gotta go back home and rewrite my verse." It's like, yeah. oh, come with your best shit, like right. just come with it. You know what I mean? Like, so I am glad Primo went back because that represent wasn't the same represent mm. we got. No, nah. so a piece of me is like, yo, just come with your best shit. You know, you know who was gonna be on this album. You know, Pete's on this album. You know, Tip. Uh, yeah. You know? Yeah. So how do you know, Bezo? I know you would like you said you were cool with that, but how do y'all feel like yo, like with 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 a dude going back in, like nah, you know I gotta do better now because I heard that. Joy. What you think? You, you talking about as far as verses or beats? Nah, as far as beats, as as far as represent was done. Um, like oh, now nah, I heard Pete join. Nah, nah. I, I'm 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 glad he did it because, like Bezo said, that joint was just cool. What we got was classic but um i've never had to go and do that so i i don't really know i mean i try to do stuff like if, if somebody hears something and they want to work i i'll work based off of that but I, i've never heard somebody else's song on a project i've worked on and said oh no nah, i gotta go back and do me you know what i'm saying like i just never i, I ain't been there yet now if i get there i i'll probably admit it like yo Kill Bezo made me go back and do my fucking homework. I shit it in my drawers. I'm gonna have to go back and change some shit up. But you know, I, I'll put it out there. I ain't afraid to. But I just ain't. Been, I haven't been there yet. I ain't had that. I ain't had that happen to me yet. And what you think, JP? I don't have a problem with it. I I actually like it because, you know, you 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 think. I mean, I don't know how. Who knows how confident he was in the original to begin with? You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So for him to be like hearing somebody else to be like, oh, I got now. Nah, I got to come back. I got to come harder with this. It doesn't fit as well within the album with the other joints so i might i might have to i have to do it over so i mean i ain't mad at him for it right at all i'm not mad at him for pushing yourself right i, mean, I feel you kill it's, it's it can be a problem because I, yeah. I worked with yeah, I mean, cat once yeah because I, I mean i couldn't even get the, i couldn't get my, his screenplay i couldn't every day it was like i would leave the niggas crib after helping him write like 10 pages worth of screenplay 
And mm-hmm. on my ride home, this nigga called me like, yo, yo, we gotta change this. Like, man, <laughs> we just spent four hours on 10 pages. And now you wanna change two more, like, come on, son. And I had to walk away from this shit. But in a situation like that, where it's like, I think Primo, cause I don't know how the order went. You know what I mean? Who knows, unless you know, kill like who submitted their joints first? Was it LES? Was it, I would imagine maybe Lars Pro or whatever. And, and to right. me, it's like, it's crazy because Lost Professor's remixes were doper than his dope the, the shit on the original album. You know what I'm saying? So to me, I always felt like Lost Pro almost intentionally let Primo and Pete kind of shine and do their thing because he knew I'm going to get these remixes and shit and I don't want to, you know, it's like the album is dope and mm-hmm. I'm just going to add to it down the line and shit. So, I mean, because listening to them, it's just Primo, I mean, Lost Pro could have came harder on the first go around, but his dope shit to me came now. Nah, that's my opinion. But to me, his better shit was those remixes and shit. So it's it's a it's a double edged sword. I feel you though. It can't be a problem. But you want people. Yeah, and I was thinking of even with um that joint. What was that joint Big Sean had? That that um Kendrick dissed everybody. Right. Yeah. I'm so about yeah. Sean. Sean was like, yo, you know, his thing was I I wasn't gonna go back in and change my verse because that was that's what I said. Then that's what I said. You know what I mean? Like, you know, Kendrick sent his verse and he said, you know, people was like, well, yo, he kind of came and he named all y'all. Why ain't you go back in and redo your well, I have a theory. I have an answer for that. I have a theory behind that. Nobody gets to redo the theory. There ain't no point in spending the extra money on this on the, on the studio time. This is the best I can come up with. So let's just keep moving. You know That's my personal theory on that shit. Bitch. Yeah. Shit. And you could be right because I, I honestly respect it. I've never been a big Sean fan, but I respected him a little bit where he was like, look, you know, that's the verse that I laid. That's what I'm going to go with. You know what I mean? And it was like, yo, yeah, he came at me. That's what hip hop's about, but I'm going to keep it moving. But neither here nor there. Rap, what's your next three, bro? All right. So next three is I Can't Wake Up, KRS One, Return to the Boom Bap. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brooklyn Took It. That's my J Ru joint. And return to the Crooklyn Dodges. So yeah. I can't wake up, man. I, I I heard that joint for the first time on WPRB. It was like 92, late, early 93. Man, first of all, man, the dude writes a story about the blunt and incorporates every hip hop person that you could think of that was just on point at that time. And the story makes sense. Like you could you can see it. Even if you ain't smoke weed, you're like, yo, this story make hella sense. So <laughs> I mean it's it's just crazy, man, for, for for him to do that and and the way the beat was 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 put together. I love that track. Um, Brooklyn took it. Mm-hmm. So we were talking about how Primo cuts up, you know, these samples. For him to think and take the bridges over joint, Brooklyn took it, and just have it with that sample in the way it just everything with that song just fit together right. I, I agree with Bezo, man. I think Sunrise is in the East and uh, that second J Ru album are probably. You can put that up there in, in, in Primo's top five and, and be confident that it's going to stand. That's some of his greatest work, period, point blank. And Brooklyn Took It gets overlooked, I think, because of all the other joints that's on that J-Room joint. Um, it's a classic album. If y'all haven't heard it, y'all need to go get your hands on it. And uh, Return to the Crooklyn Dodgers. I was a fan of the first one, but the second one, it can do no wrong to me, man. Um, Wait, you, so you think the, the second one's better than the first one? All right, so... I'm a Q-Tip fan, <laughs> but Pri- I'm a Q-Tip fan, but Primo is like God to me. Okay. So, okay. so, okay. so when I heard it, for uh-huh. one, you gotta remember we not we wasn't in the age of where you knew something was dropping. You just you just like oh shit, and you and you mm-hmm. went and you, and you bought it, man. When I went home with that record, yo, mm-hmm. I didn't go out. I didn't go out for the rest of the day. <laughs> like 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 I, I I remember that. I remember <laughs> it. I stayed in I stayed in my room. And I just I just worked on whatever little routines I was trying to work on at the time. That mm-hmm. that song was just crazy to me. I mean, to this day, Chub Rock, just die, nigga. Die, nigga. You're too wet. You can't handle too strong. Goodbye. I mean, come on, man. Come on. You, you don't know what he's talking about, but you sitting there like this. God. Ooh. That that track, man, it just them violins, them drums. Primo, man. Primo just has a sense about him, man. And he always says, like, he doesn't do anything beforehand. He hears something in his head, and then he goes and digs for those samples. He don't play shit. So, so think about that. The dude's a walk, he's a walking library. 
he hears something in his head, then goes to his little side over there where his records are and digs for the shit. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. If, you, if, they, if they ain't giving Primo his props, man, something wrong with these cats, man. For real. Yeah. Those are my three, man. Brooklyn took it with my joint, man. That I, shit was crazy. Crazy. I joint on there. I love how, and like you said, just the whole Brooklyn keeps on taking it. That just yeah. the scratching was crazy. And then the Crooklyn Dodgers, JP, for me, Tips joint is still better. I love it, but I wasn't mad at part two. You know, oh, no, 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 no. normally when there's a part two, it's like it falls off. Like there's yeah, really yeah, no yeah. fall off. They're both dope songs. If I had yeah. to pick one, yeah, it would be the first one. I, and I understand yeah. that. Yeah, but I mean, I remember I was in Jace car up in Towson and it was on a cool mixtape and that joint just came on and I was like, we always like, yo, yeah. like this yeah. is crazy, you know? And then when Roots came through, with the original record for milk crates and you know mm-hmm. it's like old unlimited and you looking at it like yo that's that's, <laughs> that's the sample oh you know what i mean like, i remember being a young digger and thinking at that time like damn you can't never judge no album by its cover because you Ooh. i would never think no you can't <laughs> that joint would have been on these three dudes <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah that 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 that, that crooklyn dodgers part two joint was crazy man and, and no c and um and them yeah. killed that joint jp yeah. what's the next three bro um, for my gangstar joint, I'm going with royalty with, with, with Casey and JoJo, man, and um, superstar, of course, group home, and real hip hop, Das Effects. Okay. Um, with the royalty, yo, I remember when I first heard royalty, man, and you know, it's it's not on a favorite album. Most people's would consider a favorite album with gangstar. It's not on that favorite because it was later on in a you know career, so to speak. But that beat. To me, was one of my favorite. The sample he used and everything—it was. I thought it was perfect. And then having Casey and Joe, it was ill to me. So I, I was like, "Yo, that that joint is crazy." I mean, superstar. I mean, we all. I mean, I mean, yeah, I, don't even, I don't even need to. Yeah. I don't even need to yeah, say anything. Man. It's just, yeah, yo, I, can't, I can't tell you. At least, at least two, at least once or twice a week when I go to the gym, that's on my playlist when I'm working out, man. Easily, the instrumental. I just listen to the beat all the time. And, I watch um, niggas get robbed, the superstars club. <laughs> and, um, the real them hop dots effects, man. I feel like that song, such, that song has such bounce to it, man. With them niggas on on that shit, man. That beat, that that beat, and they style was perfect together. That boom, boom. It was just, it was just a dope, it was a dope combination. So those are my. Yeah. yeah the funny, the funniest thing about that real hip hop, it always reminds me of. I was at Morgan and somebody, one of the sororities and fraternities, wanted me to make a mix for them for a step show. And they want, like, everybody wanted that real hip hop joint. Right. You know, mm-hmm. the joint. And it's just so funny because I miss the times when people would do stuff to real hip hop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. now you would never think in a million years of a fraternity trying to step off of, you know, some boom bap. But, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Like that's what they wanted. Like they shorties from Delta was coming to me like, yo, you gotta give me that real hip hop, the the the, the DOS effects joint. You know what I mean? It's like cause people have you believe like niggas ain't dancing in the club until Puff ex- you know, until Man, Puff, bullshit. Until bullshit. Like, nobody dance bullshit. nothing. Like we just all stood on the wall like this, you know, before <laughs> the hip hop. Like, no, people used to dance to hip hop. Like it was house parties with niggas who dancing around. Yeah. The Right. Yes. You know, yes. So you know, uh I that's why I always <laughs> um the next three I got is um I got the come clean joint. Um mm-hmm. and I mean just like Bezo said, nothing else to say. I mean just to me the urban legend. I remember being at yeah. Oregon and, and even shorties would be like, Yo, you heard that? Like, yeah, we <laughs> like, like Yo, what song is that? And, and these were the days that you heard everything on mixtapes. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, you know, that that was just the crazy thing to me was just that joint right there. Um, I, and then, I mean, just to, again, we could talk about the scratching for eternity with Primo, but that on example is just perfect. Yeah. You know, just, you know, yeah. at the end where he just, you know, um, that that's just crazy to me, man. And then I remember they were saying something like um, Primo was saying he was somewhere <laughs> Fat Joe had seen him and he just started singing come clean and he was like yo yeah man. i seen that shit <laughs> <laughs> and it was like oh shit you did that, you like, did that yo, shit that. like yo i was just singing it like i didn't know you was behind that but i mean come <laughs> clean to me that was just 
that was almost like, like you said, Beasley, that was like a reminisce moment where I felt like hip hop just paused for a second. Mm -hmm. Like it was just like, you had to pause yeah. and just be like stuck, like a moment in time of just like, yo, what the fuck is this? Right. It was yeah, then again, the cuts, the cuts, the set, the, the hook and shit, man. Yeah, and, and, and again, it was Ooh. everything. And it was Jay Wu killing it. His it voice. Was video. It was just, yeah. yeah. Well, that was the moment in time in hip hop when you just had to stop. Everything, you, you know, that's the best. That's a good way to look at it because it did feel like everything in hip hop slowed down for a while when that swamp was hot because there were other dope songs at that time. But come clean, man, that shit just put made hip hop pause for a minute and recognize yeah. it. Like, yeah, you on the front wall, like, come on, you, yeah, you, come, you, 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 you couldn't replicate it because you know how it go, man. Some shit will come out, it'll be hot as fuck, and everybody will try to change up to do that. But it's primo, and you can't replicate that. shit. You can't. Right. Right. And it's one of those things where I'm glad it came out where it did because when if that would have came out now, it would be the shit for like 72 hours. <laughs> <laughs> you know, be on to the next thing. Like, but like come clean just sat with us. That's when hip hop would just sit with you and you can still be banging that thing a year later. Um my second my next joint is kicking the door by big, man. Like, you know, that just was so biggie in your face, the screaming Jay Hawkins sample. Yeah, it was yeah. just like you know, just and it was just it was just that big, the big that I love, like that monstrous, like this goes out to those who choose to use yep, this yeah. views on like it was just that bravado biggie of just like yo, like fuck that, why try throw bleach in your eye uh, after railing it, like oh my god, like that was your when I heard kicking the door, I was and it, coming out of that mad rapper skit, it was just like it's perfect. You know, yeah, it was, shit perfect. was perfect. Yeah. The next one I got is Fat Joe. The shit, shit is, is real. real. Yeah. 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 Like, shit yeah. makes you want to go rob your whole block. Not <laughs> when it like when that beat you, I'm like, yeah. oh my God, you got it. it. Like that shit is real. It's crazy, man. So. Those, those, those are my next three, man. Those, those, man, please. That that shit is real, man. Woo. People, people don't know. People don't get. I don't think pe people give Prima enough props for the remixes that he's done, man. He done some, 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 some heavy bangers. B, what you got next, bro? Oh man, it was like I had a few that y'all named this shit, so I go to my next batch, my next batch of what uh, uh, shit. But I had for Nas a low key one. I gave you power. Mm. I love that joint. Part of it, honestly, is the Nas shit. You know what I'm saying? What Nas is spitting about, like he's a gun. You know, but again, all for that album. That's all for um the it second thing. Right? It, it was written. It was written. It was written. Which we're not gonna get into all that with that crowd. That the, the people that find that better than Illmatic nonsense. But <laughs> that was like. That was the closest single off that album to Illmatic. You know what I mean? Like that, you could have put that song on Illmatic and it would have fit right in. You know what I'm saying? It would have blended with that rest of that album. Because again, Nas, and again, that's the same thing with like you said about Come Clean for Nas. That was like he had hip hop in the palm of his hand, man, after the Illmatic album and shit. And I felt like going to the Mother Cast track masters, whatever kind of threw him off his equilibrium, you know what I mean? Kept it, took him off track a little bit. Not to say that it was whack, but to me it just, it wasn't, it didn't fit Nas, but again, I think Primo just had a way of finding the best sound for the cat that he's working with. And, and Nas was that, you know, he's that dude. Same thing off of Stillmatic. Cause my favorite drink was the, the shit on Primo. But on um, my next drink, M.O.P., I had Brownsville. Yeah, I love that shit right there, though. That shit is, I mean, M.O.P. is M.O.P. And again, Primo being Primo, he just knows how to find that 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 crazy sample, man. That shit that just fits niggas. And I mean, I, I gotta go back. I was stuck in between, in between two joints. It was kind of a tie between Dwick and Frustrated Nigga for J. Mm -hmm. Moon. I mean, yeah. Dwick, I mean, come on, man. The, that To me, that's like, that might be my favorite nice and smooth joint. I mean, don't get me wrong. They got some dope shit, too. All right. Not, don't get me, I'm not disrespecting them, but that Dwick shit is just, that's one of them classic hip hop singles, man, that I can remember being in Morgan and the first time hearing Dwick, you know what I mean? Like, oh shit. And then hearing the story behind the sample, which, which I believe Grap did, um, did yeah. co-sign. He, he, he said it was true, like them cats Primo, I think it was Large Pro and Pete Rock was like overseas somewhere in record shopping. Mm -hmm. Niggas found that, that sample 
and they started bidding on the joint until Primo was just like, do whatever it was, whatever crazy amount <laughs> of dollars on the table, like, yo, that shit is mine. And then he made the with it. You know what I mean? So that shit, but frustrated nigga, I listen to that shit nowadays. With what's going on like in the world and shit, yep. that shit, to me, it, sound, it might sound a little hyperbolic, but to me, that's like along the lines of inner city blues and what's going on type shit. Like, frustrated niggas going to, Unfortunately, that's just going to transcend generations. It's, my grandchildren will be able to listen to that song, I'm sure, if things keep going the way they're going, and be able to identify with what J. Rule's talking about. And then again, the way J. Rule, I mean, the way Primo does it with the sample, man, it's just with that guitar shit, the, and it's the drums, it's just hard shit, man. You don't waste yeah. no time with all the extra nah. shit. Give me the hard drums, the dope sample, and the MC spitting that shit, man. And that's why right. Boom Bap is the dopest, man, because I've said this before, but Boom Bap, it, get, it leaves pockets. When you have drums syncopated like that and the sample, it's like, uh, uh, uh. It leaves pockets for the MC to play like a, an instrument. So that's why that era generated more lyricists like pre, like uh, like Pete, pardon me, like, like Nas and, and Jay and Big and Kane and all because the beats allowed them to ride the, the, the joint, you know what I'm saying, and hit, hit them pockets. This shit nowadays, it's not conducive to, to flowing and having an ill style, you know, it, it's just, it's just say your words, speak your piece and go type shit for a lot of these dudes, man. But Primo, man, he, if I had to look up hip hop beat in a dictionary, it should be a picture of Primo and an MP, like, <laughs> I know no offense to any other producer, Dre, Pete Rock, but just something about Primo, man, his, his drums, man, it's just it's dead on with hip hop, man. To me, epitomizes hip hop. Yeah. yeah, man. And the funny thing about that frustrating nigga, I know we've been talking about the scratches and everything, but Cream will still find them little vocal samples. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they, like, they they say something themselves. They convey right, a message. Right, right, right before he goes to the third verse, it's like a lot of niggas ain't scared. And it's like, yeah, so he's got his like, yeah, say some shit. Word, 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 word. Yeah, what's good, good hey, brother? Hey, man, what up, man? What up? I'm out here with my Riders Red Squad up here. You know, what up, what up? What's up, yo? What up? Yo, man. Good to see you, brother. Oh, shit. I ain't even recognize the cat. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little one now, man. He be. Yeah, congratulations. I'm duties, man. I'll be having daddy yeah. duties I got to do first. You, right, you in Cali now? No, no, no. I'm still in New York right now. I'll get to Cali until uh, July. Okay, it's funny because I seen somebody post on Instagram a joint of uh, Amoeba, the record shop, and I was like, yeah, that's uh, yeah, 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 that's the shit. Up. I remember that's you talking the crack about the spot right there. That's the crack spot. It yeah. makes it crazy. All right, Ab, what you got? What you got? Give us, give us, give us. How many y'all do so far? We up to about six. So give yeah, us. We're on six. All right, I had, all right, I'm going to give you mine. I didn't put them in, in no kind of order. I, I got my number one, but I, so I'll, I'll give that one later. But. Uh, you need what four? You can give six, man. Oh, I can give six. All right, y'all might have said these already. I'm sure somebody said kicking the door. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure somebody said. Well, I'm not sure. Return of the Crooklyn Crooklyn Dodgers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. All right. Um, represent. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> Downtown Swinger, the '98 version. No, <laughs> I said 96. 96, 96 yeah, 98, 98 version. Okay, okay, okay. I got one in there. Uh, what, what was that? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Damn. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw a, a, a curveball. Hopefully, nobody said this. I heard J. Ru. I heard somebody talk about. I heard y'all. Y'all just got off of J. Ru. But I'm gonna say mental stamina. Nah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my shit. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I feel accomplished at this point. <laughs> Yo, Ab, let me let me ask you something, man, because I have put this out there, and, but and, and cats kind of agree. But of all the artists that Primo's worked with, who do you think he had his most consistent work? Whether it's from his own camp or just like a Nas or, or Jay, whoever. But who do you think he did his best work with throughout his when he was at his at his pinnacle? Well, you know, I always say that. I say that I'll, I, I answer. It's a two. It's a two part two part answer that I have. I'll say I really think that the group home album was his best work. That's However, right. I feel like the group home album in the beginning. I, I feel like Primo says what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just, when he says I'm the star of this act. 
I feel like he was talking about his <laughs> That's just me. I feel like I feel like in the beginning, just let you know what the oh, fuck it was. Yeah. Right. What talking about. But I think um, surprisingly, man, I think. All right, so so just to give a little backstory, I listened to the uh, the, the drink champs joint with Primo and Pete on there. Mm-hmm. And I think we all noticed that you know that Primo kind of makes beats for whoever he's working for. I didn't know. I didn't realize he does it in that moment. So that was something new. Um, that too. But I feel like <clears throat> for some reason he knew what J. Rue needed. I feel like it was something about J. Rue. He just knew how to <laughs> how to build around that kid. And I think an example of that is that album yeah. that came out after Wrath of the Math. It was like years later. Yep. And I don't want to say it was trash because I'm. I mean. Jay no, Rue, call, like, it, call it what it is. It was trash. For Jay Rue, yes, it was trash. It was trash. And I feel like one of the reasons is that nobody really knows how to build around Jay Rue like that. And I, I think Primo just has an amazing air. Alongside with, I know me and Kill was talking about this earlier, with uh, Royce. I feel like the one that Primo wanted Royce for was probably what the direction they should have went for the whole album, because Prem has the air. But to answer your question, Rupon was was my top. I think that he's, but I think that was his his personal like Picasso shit. Right. But I feel like for J. Rue, he just knew how to like build around that cat and make it work. Oh, um, I said the same exact thing, my brother. That's exactly what he said. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what he same said. Exact thing. Exactly. Really it's like almost verbatim, like you were taking notes and jumped on and said the same shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I felt, felt Beasley on the show. I was like, I get in here. I feel like he that shit that, that we hit. Is. Bro. That's mine. <laughs> Word. All right, no doubt, no doubt. Right, what you got for your next three, fam? All right, so we on that group home joint. So up against the wall, man, the getaway car. Ah, that's my number one. Yeah, that, was, that, was um, that was nice. That that's joint, my, man. Yeah, when that came, when, when that comes on, <laughs> you getting robbed if you ain't got your squad with you. Period. Point. Yeah, like, man. Wrong club, wrong time. You getting robbed. It's just going to go down. But it's such um, a beautiful symphony, too. It though. is. Just, it is. It, it's it's yeah. it's beautiful, but it's so hard. Yeah, it's dirty. Dirty. It's so dirty, but when you hear that little piano and them bells, you just like, ooh. And then that comes in and you just like, man, this is just this is exactly what I want every time I know I'm gonna hear something. Mm-hmm. Right. And if you can take two guys like that and have them hip hop law the way they can still perform today, based off of that work. I'm just saying. Um, my next one. Personal opinion, waste of a beat, but the beat was a banger. Three the hard way, Bahamadia. It's off the collage album. Oh. That. For those that don't that don't check out Bahamadia, I ain't gonna name no names. They probably might watch this, John. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna name no names. They might watch this, John. He's gonna kill me when he see this shit. <laughs> um, it's a, it's a it's a crazy beat. Just he gave it to the wrong person. Personal opinion. Uh, my next one is the only way this person is gonna ever make any list I ever talk about. Memphis Bleak, head it yeah. down, head it down, yo. When that yeah. came on, yeah. I yeah. said, okay. First and foremost, you, you on Jay's at the time biggest selling album on the intro. You give that to your little man, and then you give him a primo beat, and he kills it. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Yeah. I just, I, I just, I just wish Bleak could have did more of that throughout his career. He was, he, he was so close. Every time he, every time he got the, the banger, and then everything else was just like, I don't know where this cat's going. Yeah, but, I just felt like they was trying to make him like the next Jay Z, and it's like they were, they were. His they dopest were. song was the Jay Z song off of his album. Yeah, yeah. yeah. was moving on it. Yeah. You just let Bleak do Bleak. And that was the problem. They just never, they never let him do him. They just was always, they was trying too hard. Like you said, he killed the primo track. He killed that drum. It's not like it was like, oh, damn, we wasted No. It. Dude, it's like. Gun uh, up on yo. Gun up on, I said, oh, oh, shit. Let me get closer to the mother. Let, <laughs> let me listen to it closer. Yeah, yeah. It just, I just, I just feel like he, had he, had he been on a different label and possibly gotten the same type of support to where he could just do him. I think I think Bleak would, would, would be would have been better off, but when you get forced into something that you might not be, this is exactly what happens. You end up, you know, in the same 
boat that he's in. But that's my middle three, man. No doubt. JP, what's your next three? Um, next three, I mean, basically everybody uh, said them for the most part. That, that would take me up to like nine, right? So, I, I, you know, I had Crook and Dodge, I had Kick in the Door, I had Represent, Come Clean. So, one thing I, one, one joint I did have was um, him and Royce back in, what was it, 09, Shake This Joint. Oh, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> talking about, you know, you know how, he, how he recovered from alcohol coming out of jail and all that yeah. shit. That beat is so crazy. And so the, crazy. The craziest thing about it is it don't sound like it's a primo beat. That beat no, is no, no, out there. No. We were just talking about that today of how that shake this joint, you would never even know that that's primo. You know, right. it doesn't, there's no scratching. You right. know, I'm not mistaken, what's the loop? I don't even think he added any drums right. or anything. But yeah. Yeah, is that's so not primo, but shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a dope joint. Um, the next one I got up, JP, you said you didn't rock with it, but I love the lady remix, the D'Angelo joint. Yeah, with the I like it. Yeah, I, I loved that joint. That um, that joint was crazy to me. I got against the grain, source money. Mm. What? Now, a lot of people may not know this joint. It's off the yeah. soul of the whole soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. And I gotta I probably told this story on here a couple of times, but it's still go my go-to story for this. Roots was managing source money at the time. Oh Roots. word. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Our man Roots used to manage source money. Let me get close and turn this up. So what happened was Roots comes to the station, he says, Y'all, I got a primo beat for source. <laughs> he puts it in, we listen, and we all like. Ah, it's all right. <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> was like, yo, what, what the fuck? And we was like, yo, he, he hit. And he was like, yo, you want me to go back to Primo and tell him? <laughs> like, nigga, that's on you. But we all was like, nah, that ain't it. And he came back with the, with the, against the grain beat. He played it and we was like, that's that shit. That's that shit <laughs> right there, right? That's what, that's the, that's the shit we wanted. And I, the way it starts off with the watch out for your friends, then goes into the organs, and it's just, he kills it after that. Mm -hmm. Now, the funny thing is, the beat that we didn't like ended up on the Moment of Truth album, and it's The Rep Grows Bigger. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what it was. We could You didn't remember what it was last time. The Rep Grows Bigger, okay. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. it was the, rep, the Rep Grows Bigger. Mm -hmm. and we were not feeling that joint at all. You know what I mean? Damn, so he had that beat stashed for a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had that stat. And it was funny because when I heard Moment of Truth, I'm like, I've heard this beat before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't like it a couple of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not that dude that's like, oh, it's primo. So I like, no, to this day, I still don't still like don't that. Like and then um, uh, my number nine is the same as Bezo Brown's. When Brownsville came out, I was just like, yo, this beat is... Really? <laughs> Shot little bleeps and beeps and mm -hmm. that was, that was, that was <laughs> that, yeah, that drums is crazy, man. man. And the drums was so hard, and then that br 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 Brownsville, Brownsville, like it was just, yeah. man, it was just crazy. And at that time, like MOP was the hardest thing. MOP, boy. You know what I mean? So, um, those are my next three. Uh, Ev, you got you got another three for us, man. Um, yeah, I got a. Uh... Cause I know your list tapped out at ten, so yeah, I tapped out at ten. All right, um, Invincible, the CNN joint. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I think that's everything. I think everything else was said on my list. Okay. All right. I think that's the last one that wasn't said. All right, B, what you got next? I mean, I'm surprised nobody brought this one up already. To be honest with you, that's Memory Lane or for Illmatic. Well, I mean, we only got to pick only one. Pick one because yeah, 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 cool. yeah. that's what I'm saying. That's the rules. You picked like three yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's impossible, man. Is it? Yeah. Because like, yeah. it's like with like with Jay Rude, the bitches, man. I mean, come on, yeah. son. And, or yeah. me and my other Jay is me or the papes. Yeah, man. That's the issues with the rules. I got issues with the rules, son. Yeah, yeah, man. Rude knows the rule breaker, man. Come on, man. He's too dope to be. You gotta be. Nah, be. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, man. It's, it's 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 good it's good practice though man but it, it's cool 
Bees don't got bees. Bees don't got bees. Don't bitch in your mind. Oh shit! I already named like three other joints by the same cat already. Anyway, so I'm like, he's suspended in time. Group home, but I can't say that because I already had a group home joint. Nah, you can say yo. Listen, if it's dope, <laughs> but I'm saying it's like, don't say fuck the rules. Just look, I'm <laughs> sorry, with some of these joints. You know why? This is why I got a speeding ticket and had to get a fucking lawyer in Virginia for like fifteen hundred dollars. The bees don't say fuck the rules. <laughs> That's why, because it's reckless driving in Virginia. Like, yeah, it is. Speed limit. Oh, that man, was my, I was in the back seat drinking my juice, man. That was, my, that was my very first ticket. Word up. But yeah, man, I mean, for, for me, like, the bitches, man, it's like that shit holds a personal place for me, man, because that was when. There was that whole thing in society where people, you know, like the, I forget the lady's name and shit. But she was yeah. Yeah, there you yeah. go. And they was coming after hip hop for the words, the bitches and the hoes and this and that. And for Jay Rule to do that, you know what I mean? And, and it was interesting to me to see, are they going to pick up on this? Are they going to just hear the word or are they going to listen to what he's actually saying? Because they listen to him. All you got to do, listen to the hook. And he's telling you flat out. I'm not talking about the, the queens, the sisters. I'm talking about the bitches. If you're in this category, you do this, you're one of the bitches. But if you're not in that category, you know, you should feel no kind of way. I'm not talking about you. You know what I mean? And it was like, and then the, the horns, man, 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 it was like mad, chill, laid back. I think it was just talking shit. And it's like, I, you know, true story. Because of what he was saying in the song, that's when I had my firstborn, my oldest son. And some of his first words, I will admit as a father of five, soon to be five, that one of his first words was the bitches. The bitches. <laughs> he would be in the back seat. My word is born. I can't feel it. He'd be in the back seat, the baby seat, yes. rocking out to the bitches. The bitches. The bitches. He didn't say the long one, the bit, but he said the other part. <laughs> but that song was a personal, a personal thing for me in my heart. You know what I mean? Oh, it was so dope that even his mother could have beefed like, because she heard the song like, yeah. He Talking about the bitches. I can't get out. <laughs> you know I mean? So it's like all of these songs in memory lane, man. I mean, shit, they put that scene in um in uh what's the movie? In Belly. You know in what Belly. I'm in Belly. Or for that song and kill like what you said about um the now, that, was off, that, that was off one love. Yeah, but if you said that, oh no, I'm sorry, you're right, you're right, you're right, one love. Yeah. But just the what he's talking about, you know, sitting in the park and talking, just talking shit. As a cat from New York, where I spent many a days in my teenage years, chilling in the park, drinking 40s, talking shit, rolling down, doing whatever. And then the sample, man, with the, the organs and shit. And I remember when I finally heard the original joint, I was like, damn, Primo. So yeah, this one of them samples as a producer and a digger where, you know, when that sample came up on the record, he stopped what he was doing, put the rec needle back, went and hit, t- jumped to the MP and started looping that shit immediately because the sample jumps off the table on you. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that, again, that's... Primo, man, and then the, the the hook, you know, everything he did for the hook, everything about it, man, he just, the nigga just knows how to hit all them bases with the drums, the sample, and then the dope sample for the for the hook with the cutting, man, he's cutting, yo. Oh, my yeah. God. Sometimes that's that's part of what you listen to and shit. Yeah. There's one more I haven't named yet. I'll get to it later and shit. But it's because of the cutting on the shit. My shit, man. <laughs> cutting out of the Craig G, the coming out of Queensbridge shit, you know? Yeah. Yo, yeah. my nigga, did you just do a wardrobe change, man? Who, me? Yeah. No, nah, that's for my glasses on. I was trying to read something. And I, I couldn't read. Oh, I, I, I thought you had the on. I was like, you doing couldn't it. read what I wrote him. I had to put the glasses on. <laughs> All right, right. What you got? What you got for your last three? <laughs> Talking about <laughs> changes. I'm sorry, man. He put that hoodie on hours ago, man. <laughs> <laughs> like Clark Kent, Superman, and shit. Damn, I'm like, he's got on glasses. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, so my my last three, man. Um, second childhood, the Nas joint. Um, it's yeah. just classic, man. I'm not going. I'm not going to tell what uh what it is. If if you watch this and you dig, then shit, you know where to go. Period. <laughs> I'm not putting it out there. Um, I like this prom joint right now, man. To me and to you, the joint with Jay Electronica. I love that joint, man. Um, like you said earlier, it doesn't sound like a primo joint, man. But um, it's primo. It's Primo, man. He's, he's, he's still doing it. And the, uh, the number one joint that I picked just for the day, it could change tomorrow, um, Common, Six Cents. Reason why I picked it, man, This is to me, this is Common's best work. Um, but 
Primo is the only producer on this album outside of a Soul Aquarium. And he's got the lead single on this album. Right. So what does that tell you? That tells you one, okay, they said, all right, yeah, this Primo, we that's respect. Here you go, blood. You got that. Mm -hmm. Two, you can't deny it. This shit is crazy. Mm -hmm. Three, got Bilal on the hook, man. <laughs> <laughs> you got Bilal on the hook. And Bilal kills it. Bilal is dope, man. Oh, cap, 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 caveat to that. For those that are watching, if y'all don't understand the respect and the hustle and the grind that Bilal has went through in the last, you might as well say 20 mm -hmm. years, you really, really need to like not not saying don't watch what we do, but but when you're done watching this, go back and do the homework on Bilal and really listen to that cat, man. Like for real, you, you should really be studying and listening to these guys because Bilal is one of those guys that I always think it's overlooked. Man, the dude's work ethic is bar none, man. It's crazy. Um, but in the video, the video was crazy. If you don't understand the video, just go watch it. It's YouTube page. Go watch the video. Everything about that man was perfect for that song. It didn't really fit to me. It didn't fit the mold of the album, but it was perfect. Right. JP, what's your last three joints? I mean, everybody said everything. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I'm good. I, I would have to pick another more than one from another artist. Well, I mean, these are the. This hey, I, 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 still, I, I still got more. I still got more from other yeah. artists. Yeah. I ain't got more. Hold tight. Before we all break the rules, let me let me give you my last three. I got Boom by Royce the Five Nine. Yeah. I love that joint. You know, just the whole, I think Royce and Primo. I, I don't know why Royce even messes with anybody else outside Primo. The only other person that I feel has given Royce bangers like that is Knox. Mm -hmm. So, oh, yeah. If it ain't Knox so or Primo, I really don't even know why Royce is even listening to nothing else. I got the actual by All City. When that, oh, that All City Crew. We talked about that last episode too. That day, yeah. All that City was Crew. I had never heard of All City. Really? I'm like, it was out. And when they said, nah, they just they just dropped it. It just the final at the station. It was like A side produced by. Well, I remember getting yeah. it All City yeah. like. What is this? And then I look at that, 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 that yeah. Burgundy vinyl. Yeah. Yeah. Burgundy vinyl just has all city on it. I'm like Pete did yeah. the A and Pete did the B. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we playing. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually the first time. The first time I seen a hip hop group have marketing on a subway. Yeah. I remember I was in New York when that joint, the single came out, mm -hmm. and they had they had the 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 the, the, the poster the, joints in the, the trash. subway hall. Oh, yeah, I've never mm -hmm. I had never seen that before. Wow, yes. the actual was the joint, and then a lot of cast sleep on this. The next level remix for Showbiz and AG. No, nope. let me go ahead and hit delete. That's on here. <laughs> that might be Showbiz. Obvious. We talking about how the drums come in, like the drums just come in crazy, and then just Showbiz. Brothers can't believe how the skills have yeah. got like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah man. Yeah, 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 that joint. So oh, that was man. cool. So, all right, JP, you got some extras for the B side. Um, discipline, Gangstar. Mm -hmm. That beat right there, man. Mm. I mean, I love just because of what Guru was talking about. I mean, it was just, I mean, the beat was perfect. It was just one of my favorites right there. Um, what's the other, the other, So Ghetto, Jay Z. That, I got the brook a brook a brook. Yeah, that shit was crazy. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> you know, um, it's come up like I, I didn't try to overthink it. I tried to write down whatever came to mind. I didn't want to go look and just, I just wanted to I just wanted to go off what, what my head was. So it was a couple ones. This is a couple ones I'm not thinking of now, but um I can't remember the um it's another J Moon joint. Oh, I can't remember that shit. Forget it. Go 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 to somebody else. I can't remember the other J Moon. Yeah, hey, what else you got, bro? Um, uh, I had the uh, Gangstar MOP joint half and half. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was the, the 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 joint for that was stupid. Uh, the group home joint. Um, down 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 down. I can't think of the name of that fucking song. I think it's suspended in time. Okay, I think it's suspended in time. Um, let me see. Uh, shit, it was some more, but I took them off my list. All right, I, that's all I got for right now. <laughs> all right, baby. Yo, you got anything else left, Rack? <clears throat> I got about eight joints over here, man. 
Uh, Together Again Remix with Janet Jackson. Go check that. Uh, Pitch Black. It's all real. Uh, Play it. Big Shug. Uh, The Pressure Remix. Mob Deep. Early work. Mm. That's, that's the first time I heard Mob Deep Depression. I heard the remix. I didn't even hear the original joint. I heard the remix first. And then uh, I'm going to go with this Animals joint by Anderson Pop, man, off the Compton album. That was the first time I heard Anderson Pop. Oh, yeah. And I, and, I, and, I, and I fell in love with the dude that day, man. No homo. All right. Hey, yo, I got, yo, let me throw this in here, too. Um, I got questions. Yes, sir. The Freddie Fox and MOP joint, The Masters. I'm trying to figure out, I couldn't find if Primo did that beat. I think Primo did the beat, but I couldn't find anything on that. Does anybody know? I'm not sure. The man. Yes, Freddie Fox. Freddie and, uh, Fox and MOP. Freddie, Freddie Fox got mad work with Primo. They got like four albums with Primo. I man. think yeah. Primo did the beat for that. The, the song is stupid, but it's a joint called The Masters. That's ill. And I looked this up online, man. Who did, who did Annie Up? <laughs> yeah, BRP, BRP, period, right? Yeah, period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, I saw some conflicting information online. Nah, it's, it's DR. I, for years, I thought that was that was Primo. It wasn't yeah. until like a few years ago I found out he didn't do that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just that was like the closest like facsimile to a to a you know, like, <laughs> to copy somebody that I've ever heard because <laughs> I just knew that was Primo and shit. But like, you couldn't tell me no different. But yo, I got a question for y'all too, because it's a joint he did for Common, and I can't, I can't remember the name of the joint. I just know the beat in my head. I thought I had it in my iTunes, but I don't. But it was, it was some dope shit, man. And I'm not a huge Common. I don't think he just did the six cents. I don't think he did nothing else for Common. That's it. But maybe it's one of them. I thought it was Primo, and it wasn't. Man, so it it, 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 it might have been. Uh, might have been. Um, yeah, because Jay was doing a couple of joints and catching. Yeah, nah, it's definitely not. Yeah, because I thought about that too. It's definitely not. I know it's not Kanye did the shit. Now I know it was the joint he did that um Jay did for Com, but and Prem did the scratches. So that yeah. made yeah. yeah. But it's funny you say that because I know he did um Law of Finesse like when Finesse first came out. All them cuts on Law of Finesse first album. That's all Primo. That's Primo, yeah. All Primo on that whole album. But yo, Quaz Kill, one of my favorite pre- uh, Primo joints for Gangstar is the um. It's just an interlude, but the joint before fucking um Yes. Same. Same. Yeah. 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 I see why he used it as an interlude because what is it called? Or what what interlude is? It? What is it before? It's, it's, it's um, before, that's before the Brooklyn joint. The Brooklyn joint, yeah, the Brooklyn um off a moment of truth out. Moment of truth, because right, when right, it comes right. on, it comes on boom, bash, bash. That's before that joint. Yeah, yeah, before that, exactly. exactly. And, that, and that is and that is Primo that produced the masters. The planet, the planet. That's the, planet. the name planet. of the track. The oh, you talking about that interlude? All right, all right. I yeah, thought you yeah, were talking yeah. about one of the joints I had on mine. I'm sorry, hard to earn. That moment of truth is hard to earn. Yeah, hard to earn, hard to earn, hard to earn, hard to earn. Yo, you know what my shit was too. You know, he gets he get yeah, overlooked for those as well. Yeah, it's, he it's, he it's the joint with Kamani Marley. The joint he did yeah, with Kamani Marley. Um, I don't know if he did DMD Sound Clash, but Whirlwind Through Cities for Afu Rock. I'm he almost did, certain he, that's Primo. He didn't he did he didn't do DMD Sound Clash. Okay. But a Whirlwind Whirlwind Through Cities, I'm almost certain that's Nah, Cream nah. didn't do that joint. He didn't do that. Yeah. Damn. Nah. It, it, the, pro- the problem is with that album, all the bangers, with the exception of DD Sound Clash, was Primo. So yeah. it gives you that feel like, yo, this right. is a Primo album, but he only did like three joints on that album. And that album's long as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I thought you was talking about the 92 interlude for the Aretha Sam, the Aretha Franklin. The Aretha Franklin joint? Man, oh, I love that. That's joint, dope man. too, though. Daily Operation. I mean, that's my, that's my early digging years. P. Primo took the. Pete Primo took the art of interludes to another level, man. After yeah. Daylight was the ones that really flipped it on the, the first album and shit, where it made, it made it into a whole story and shit, where it was yeah. like a record company, a radio yeah. station, whatever it was, all that type of shit. But Pete and Primo, with the beat, man, with the little snippet drums, yeah. shit, before a song, just like, like I said before, that's like the appetizer before the yeah, song. Yeah, exactly. Apple's plate of like collectibles and shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's joints that I still wish to this day that they'd have made 
full songs out of man it just yeah, yeah. that 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 shit lets you know that it's a true art to digging and them cats yeah. have mastered it because it was shit that i didn't know what was going on for years i just was like i was a young kid like all right this shit hot come to find out what it is i'm like damn two seconds yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. the last joints i had i had to, uh, like jp i had the evils with jay-z probably one of my yeah. favorite mm-hmm. Jay-Z bangers i had Nas's like um I remember hearing that at the station, and this is when Nas was going through one of his roller coaster rides. So, <laughs> you know, he was down, and I heard Nas' life, and it was like, God damn. Mm-hmm. Um, Up the Clouds, Gangstar. Ooh. Love that joint. Um, JFK to LAX. Love that. Mm. Um, All for the Dough from Gangstar. Mm. The joint I just said, the Dice Game interlude from the Group Home album. Like, I swear I wish somebody would have rhymed over that joint. Stupid. And um, a one joint that a lot of people didn't really fuck with. Well, I mean, people fuck with it, but uh, Faye Band, fuck all y'all bitch ass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. That was my joint. Yeah, they 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 called it Faye Band, but Kef got some new shit out too, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, dope show, dope show. Now tell me this real quick, Bezo, where does Primo come in on your best ever list? He's probably tied at number two with Pete for me. I put, I think I said it before, I put Dre up there as number one. Just because Dre, with the, the, the orchestration and arrangement, Dre shit is, is a lot of different instruments, a lot of different. And, it, and he just, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Dre, I know you asked about Primo, but I'm just, it's like I have to explain myself, honestly, why I don't have Pete or Primo number one for me. But, but it's just that Dre, I think, topped him out in terms of his orchestration and his arrangement. And the tone, the tonal, the sound of the Dre shit compared to Primo. But like I said, though, I think Primo and Pete, I mean, I love the fact now that they do that tour, Pete versus Pete Rock versus Primo shit, because I don't know if y'all ever had a chance to go to one of them joints. He did a couple last, uh, a couple summers ago I went to. And it's just dope, man. It's them niggas spinning their joints back and forth, because they not just showing you their they records, but them two cats is going at it as DJs with the cutting and the mixing and the back and forth and all the crazy shit they do. And that's what Primo as well, I think is a master act. Cause like what I was gonna say is Love Sick is one of my favorite joints by Gangstar. And part of that shit is the cutting man that Primo put, I mean it's a song about being in love with a chick and this nigga's cutting that shit up crazy mm-hmm. with the scratching on that shit. You know what I mean? And that, that part of it, Primo just, he mastered the art man of like, of, of bringing that element and understanding why the DJ is, is to me, is still crucial to the success of hip hop, man. Cause, cause the cat's like Primo. So he's, he's tied to number two. I put him and Pete Rock right there, neck and neck. Man. All right, uh, Rec, where you got Primo? Hey, you already know, man. He's my number one. We had this conversation a few <laughs> months back. I think that was my first podcast. We had this conversation. Who right, know? Right, Ev, where you got him? Go man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right, look, man. Is this, 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 is this gonna take a tribe called Quest like turn? Just, no, 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 no. <laughs> slightly, slightly, slightly. All right, I had to um, ask. Yeah, <laughs> you still gotta talk about this tribe album. I still feel some kind of way with y'all in this damn fucking tribe album. But that, hey, well, that's, that's another, that's another joke. We'll talk. That's another <laughs> joke. But uh, this is this is what I'm gonna say, man. I gotta change my whole stance. I'm not doing number ones no more when it comes to production. <laughs> And this is the reason why. Because it's always you got Pete, you got Preem, and you got Dilla. And you really can't compare these cats because they're so different. There was a time when Primo was my number one, that me and Kill had a long conversation, and I was trying to figure out why Dilla wasn't his number one. Come to find out, Dilla became my number one in the conversation, too. And today, going back through this list, man, Primo got so much shit, <laughs> so much shit. And I was like, yo, and it really, it, 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 I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. It, it, I was at work and my whole structure was collapsing. And I was like, damn, <laughs> let me go one time. I'm running with this whole dealer thing. Ev was texting me like, fuck you, nigga. Yeah, I, was, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was, I was abrasive today, man. I was real abrasive. Yo, I, I, I'm feeling it though, Ev. It's too hard, man. It's almost like, uh, hard. Hard. who's and on your Mount Rushmore of uh, uh, producers and just leave it at that? And, no and the thing more. is, the, the reason why I say this is because they all are different in their styles. Right. Primo is a chop dude. He'll take two seconds of something and give you the illest shit ever. Mm-hmm. Dilla will pull out a sample you would you you ain't think was would be a sample to do a beat with. 
and make that shit incredible. He just had an incredible ear. Pete is a conductor. Mm-hmm. Pete to me was like he was doing what the bomb squad was doing, but in more harmony. He'll take like yeah. three or four samples right. and put that shit together like it just like like a, like he was just sitting there like okay. No, <laughs> <laughs> My Yo, man, it's just uh, so because of that, man. My G, man. <laughs> I ain't got no number, man. I ain't got no number. I'm just saying, from this point on, I'm coming in with this little no chaos. Oh. I have no number. Man. I, I, I'm out of that. I'm out of the numbers when the producers. Oh, stop. shit. I can't do it no more, man. I'm out. Kill uh, fuck All right, man. give me a number. JP, where, 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 where you at? Are you taking half stands too? I'm just, I'm just saying, like he, for me, he's in, he's in the top five for me because it, it's changed so, so much, man. And I'm all over the place with it. So, but he's always in top five. Sometimes he's top two, then it'll switch. But he'll, he'll never go below five for me. And then for me, he's my number two. I got Dilla as my number one, but Cream is right there. It's almost like with basketball, it's Iverson and Isaiah Thomas. Like depending on right. the day, the week, you act, uh, right? Those two are always right there. We gonna come back on this other conversation me and Ab was having earlier because I actually want this same group of people on it, but this oh, could be another wait. two hours. So, <laughs> is this the John Paul Quest thing? This last no, album? No, no, no. This ain't even no. a tribe. Yeah, no, no, we had that conversation. Real, 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 real quick though, I'm curious to see uh, what 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 you say. Okay, okay. Let me let me let me love it or did you not love it? I just want to like it or you didn't like it. It's trash, y'all. I'ma just say it. Wow. <laughs> hey man. I'm trash, hey. Wow. I don't, I don't think it's straight garbage, garbage. Like it's better than love movement type shit. But it's like it's like it's like the, the, the when you got like your recycled paper, your little joint, and it's all all your I mean the shredded paper. So it's not like gar like food garbage in there, but it still goes out in the trash. <laughs> it's just papers and shit yeah. like that ain't no trash eggshells none of that in there ain't no eggshells wow. in there oh it's my going god outside. How about you, Jay? Yeah. all i can say is wow like it's wow, trash. wow. This is wow. Yo, that's trash, funny man. man you said ain't no eggshells there's no simple way for this bezo give them all your information let them hey, know man, like i always say just if you're looking for me just find me on, on twitter man at, at, at real life thought that's it don't look for me no place else <laughs> <laughs> I've been starting to get hit up by people I don't even know, man, and asking me questions like I know the answer to this shit. Like, hey, man, look for me on Twitter, B. That's it, man. I'm done, though. It's the glasses, B, man. Now you the professor, man. Hey, yeah, man. man. Really, man. Cause I got to ask you something, kill about somebody that, that keeps hitting us up, man. Uh, <laughs> I don't man, know. Offline. We'll do that offline, right? Yeah, Look yeah. all your information, right? Oh, man. Y'all guys, man. Y'all make my week, man. Hey, uh, Twitter is at DJ Rec One. Um, Instagram is Worldwide Rec One. Uh, SoundCloud is J Rec One. Uh, other than that, man, that's it, man. Just, just check us out, man. All right, Ev, what's up, bro? Hey, man, y'all know, y'all know, hit me up because I don't check it. <laughs> Twitter, <baby. laughs> Give me all your hate, Mental One Five One. Mental One Five One. And, yep, hey, and no, I'm hey, not changing my stance. Hey, hey, I think the Tribe hey, album is hey. not good. Maybe Trash is a little harsh, but it's a bad album. It's bad. Definitely bad. Uh, all right, JP, what's all your stuff for? Um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, SoundCloud, J Paz Music, J P A Z Music. Oh, man. All right, and y'all already know what it is with me. Kill Eight and Nine. We'll make beats for you. Me and my man Trust just dropped our new beat tape, The Get Down Volume 4. Yes, sir. Um, my man Jamal Gasol, me and Trust just produced his new EP, No Joy Without Fame. You can check all that out. We'll make beats for food. Um, a couple of us working on an album with some of my people from Philly called Somewhere in Philly. Uh, hopefully that'll be dropping by the end of this month. Um, so we got a lot of new music on tap, but y'all already know what it is, man. I'll catch y'all next week, y'all. <laughs> Peace.